Welcome back to the game mode that everyone's burnt out of. Last we left off, we passed solo mission on the leaderboards and set our sights on Ditter Bitter. And while we're on the topic of leaderboards, I want to take a second to talk about the big elephant in the room. Is it still possible for me to end as rank 1? And the answer in short is... no. I can't. Trailblazer operates a bit different than Shattered Relics, where everyone's point cap is a bit different based on your regions. Some of the guys above me have more optimized region combos and can get over 92,000 points. And with my region combination, the highest amount of points I can get is... 90,090. Almost 2,000 behind due to task availability. But that doesn't mean I'm out of the game entirely. It just means I'm now participating in a different race, and have slightly different goals. There are a fair number of players with my exact regions, and I want to be the first to cap my points. So instead of rank 1 overall, now we're going for rank 1 Candor and Desert Mauritania. There's some nasty tasks in here, but I'm setting out to finish all of them. Today's main focus is finishing off some of the skills entirely, and quite a lot of clue scrolls. And one of the clue rewards is something I want to talk about since quite a few of you have brought it up in the comments section. One of the rewards that people often mistake as useful from clue scrolls is these charged dragonstone jewelry scrolls. What a mouthful. They'd be great for saving me a bit of time by charging my own glories instead of having to teleport to my house every single time, but I can't use them. I didn't pick Asgarnia or Fremenic, so I don't have access to the Heroes Guild. But what I do have access to is today's video sponsor, Hero Wars. Have you ever seen those bizarre video game ads on the internet about the guy who gets into all sorts of crazy situations? Well, that game is real. It's Hero Wars. Hero Wars is a fantasy online RPG with an engaging campaign mode and many PvP modes. You complete missions, defeat bosses, and unlock new and unique heroes to aid you in your journey. Hero Wars can be played not just on your PC, but on your mobile device. So if you feel like playing something while you're just on the couch, or out and about, this game is right for you. Christmas is right around the corner, and Hero Wars is offering some new bonuses and content. Progress through the advent calendar, start unlocking the free battle pass, collect new heroes, decorate your Christmas tree for a bunch of awesome gifts, and piece together a mysterious story of Dominion. And outside the core gameplay is a well-written narrative, including a brand new animated short called Lost Hero. This story unravels new lore about the main characters, Galahad and Aurora, and their relationship with the main villain, Archdemon. Follow the link in the comments to give it a watch after the video. Hero Wars also gets frequent updates and listens to their community, which is one of the best aspects of any game. So if you truly want to get involved, know that the developers do care and listen. And speaking of the devs, they're also giving out 5 top heroes to new players, alongside 600 emeralds and 30,000 gold coins. Find the best combination of heroes, build the strongest team, be a true hero, and click the link in the description or scan the QR code to start playing Hero Wars today. A big thank you to Hero Wars for sponsoring today's video. Nah. Oh. Please just have a kitten here, I don't care what it is. Nah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Rip. I needed to oh. <laughs> 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 oh, no. That's funny. That's not funny, I'm sad now, because like he needed it and I don't need it. Please don't be mine. Son of a... How, oh, man, stop! That's on another side. No, I want herbs and shit. Your gear's too good, man. You oh, gotta be yeah, kidding yeah. me. Bro, oh. I'm so mad. I have That's my second one. I don't have any kits and the dust is zero points. Rip, dude. Oh, Do you have med at least? Oh, no, oh, no the game is oh, laughing wow. at me again. One of the long-term skilling tasks I want to knock out today is the 100 Guardians of the Rift. And I'm dipping into my rewards a bit early because I really can't help myself. Use fast cosmetic. I can I can die it like very cool, but I can't actually. Oh do it. God, Dude, I got another. F bro, I've gotten seven dies now. Three pouches. Let's go. Dude. Get the opportunity. I know, I know, but like I just get mad when I see these. I have seven of these fuckers now. I just but need the satchel. You had to be there forever then. Yeah. Dude, I got another one. Bro, I, I swear they made these things like higher drop. There's no way they didn't make these things like easier oh, to get. There's no way. Okay, surely. Um, I got I got yeah. five pouches. Yeah, like, what if I just got it in like... five? Instead of showing whether or not I got the necklace, we're just going to keep it a secret until the final episode. No matter what, I plan on this being my final task, but comment below if you think I got to buy 100 KC, or if I'm going to have to come back and do it later. All right, this is the last game of Guardians of the Rift that I'm doing, and... Yeah, I just got 25 mil crafting for free. That's kind of nice. Shout out Equilibrium. 
All right, this should be number 100, please. Tell me I didn't count this wrong. Yes, I don't have to do this dumb mini game anymore. And just for the hell of it, because I have extra pearls and extra dies. I'm just going to call her a second set, because, you know, why not? How often do you get to do this? I'll ne never use it again, but why did I buy another pair of boots? That was so pointless. Yeah, whatever. I've got no other random runecrafting tasks left, so all I've got to do is just get it to 50 mil. You can get loads of pure essence from Soul Wars crates, so my buddies helped me boost it to get it done faster. Hello, doorman. Game just looks like a bot. Dude, this Kareem's account that looks like a bot, not me. Dude, what's wrong with my account? <laughs> looks like a bot. Hey, yeah, dude. Doing his best, leave it alone, it's boosting your ass. Right, <laughs> you might as well. You're not wrong. Like, like, I mean, most through. of it's fucking, like, the bolt is useless now, like... The blood veins are, like, useless, the swordfish and monsters oh. are useless. Oh, grats on pet. Thank you so much. I have another pet to take with me into the next league, and he's gonna take <laughs> up a bank space, that's the worst part. I hate this one, he's so ugly. Yeah, sounds like you. Oh, alright, that actually should be enough, though, I think. No, wait, what is it? It's uh, 50 mil... Wait, I think um, that actually just got the rest of it just off that. flying on in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she, I, <laughs> wait, yeah I, got, I got 10 crates and got enough. Hang on. It's like you're tired. Wait, who, okay, it's higher. Who's, it's who's it's all you using? I'm boosting him. Yeah, Gam Gam's uh, boosting me. Thank you, Gam Gam. Yeah. Blood runes are the fastest way for me to get this skill done. And it also came with a little something extra. Oh, I got another forestry one done yesterday. I got to oh. those ones are Yo, easy. I literally just got this, yeah, the no, runecrafting pet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like 30 minutes okay. after. Hey. <laughs> Dude, this guy's streaking. Holy. Dude, legit 30 minutes after getting the, uh, the whatever, the Soul Wars pet. I see something pop out. I'm like, oh, I know Dude, what that guy, is. You're going for the wrong thing, bro. You should go all pets on leagues, just like Coxie. Well. I messed it's up so big time. 25 million. 35 million. You have a funny feeling like you would have been for 50 million runecraft XP. 28 million runecrafting experience in like a little over an hour. Fire sailors are crying right now at this insane technology. The next skill I'm knocking out is Hunter. I've only got 15 million experience left, and we're doing the gnome restaurant check just like before. I've done six attempts so far, and the scarf is one out of 16. All right, what are we saying? Do I get scarf? Yes. Please. Really? Oh, wait, that's not the guy. Like, why did he say what's up? <laughs> no, you fucking no. rat bitch! No, we got the fucking Gucci glasses. Ah, uh, That's a log <laughs> slot, Pog. Obtain 50 million Hunter XP. I didn't have the scarf yet, and there aren't really any grinds I can do that allow me to weave this grind into it. So, it was time to do some gnome restaurant the normal way. After you've done enough deliveries the normal way, you can re-roll your assignments until you get the gnome you want. All right, we didn't get the scarf off him on the first attempt of doing this with three rolls, but now I can actually just leave my last recall positioned here, since this is a bit of a longer walk than the seed pod to the restaurant itself. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so I made one of these by mistake instead of a vegetable bada once, so I can just turn this in instantly. I think uh, the gnome might be suspicious why his order's done so fast. Yeah, I didn't get the best tip for the best service ever. What a ripoff. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I'm really started to wonder if this stupid YouTuber can get anything under the drop rate at this point. There we go. Put this on, that's 200 points, and that's not my new fashion scape for the necklace slot. Oh, uh, I don't know how many that took me, but I swear I went close to double rate for this. I mean, there'll be a number on screen. I, I wasn't counting. Everything was clipped there. So when I know, you'll know, I guess. All right. All of the editing sessions are finally paying off. That's 25 million mining experience with the worst YouTube voice I have ever used in my entire life. I'm sorry. I will never use this ever again. Bro, am I getting another sub six of this shit? Stop cheating. Guess, I'm so ass at fucking Sepulcher. I was molding. No, wait. I think I actually just got like another. I year. actually wanted. I oh, wanted no, it's six the, on the uh, nose. Did it's, you really? That? Yeah, I was one tick off tying my PB for leagues. Oh, I, well, I did sub to 99 chain, right, so I was... Uh, oh, I, I, very, oh I could, wait, I, I got rewarded for it. Wait. <laughs> you got a ring of dirt? Yeah. Nice, <laughs> let's go. That's 200 points, that's 100 points. Yeah, yeah dude, that's not just that. I got 76,000 off that. Let's go. I was like, oh, I was down to station here for a while until like I got the 25 mil fletching, but sure. Obtain 25 million fletching XP. The next skill on the list is smithing. And I've still got Giant's Foundry to complete. 
The best way for me to go about getting supplies is just buying plate bodies from the Champion Gills and Oziak. Giants Foundry 50 Handins. Obtain 25 million smithing XP. Alright, so I've done 88 turn-ins. Uh, experience for hours actually kind of nice. Better than I was expecting. And uh, yeah, we'll come back after a little TOA session. Finish off the other 12 swords and 35 mil. We're doing 8-man TOAs at low invocation. Everyone in this group only cares about the kill count tasks. And they go all the way up to 250. This is the fastest way for us to accumulate KC. And look at how fast the bosses die in this raid. It's ridiculous. Our first run without any proper coordination, and we get it done in 12 minutes and 36 seconds. And the best bit about this, is we've got a low chance of purple in our name. There's a task to make 50 Menophyte Remedies, and since we did High Invocation a while back, we only saw purple lights, so we actually have a chance at getting the lilies now. But there's still a tiny chance we get a purple. Well, Zebok died in 22.8 seconds. One of the best parts about these group raids is we have a decent chance of skipping the fourth set of skulls since we do so much damage on top of having the Executioner's Axe. Now we skip skulls. We don't even get four skulls. Yeah, you get to skip them. That's why we have it that slow. Yeah, Will had no idea. <laughs> Please be white again. No, don't be mine. Okay, thank Christ, it's not mine. Holy, what do we get? 1119. Holy. I think we broke the record that was on that YouTube video the other day. Yep. We did. I'm hitting 135s with my staff right now. With the red Karis buff. That's insane to me. Ooh, I got two magic seeds. That's why we're doing this. I can see those bastards. Oh, finally! At 20 of them. Alright, I need 30 more and that's the task taken care of. Oh, Will's mad. <laughs> he has a technical MVP. Up with a shadow. Gimme. Oh, no spawn, oh no yo, that's best case scenario. That's three mil. After the session, I went back to the foundry to keep making swords. Obtain 35 million smithing XP. I think that is the last one. That's only 80 points, but it gave me a lot of passive smithing experience, and I think this is still the best smithing experience I can get. Like, this can be pushed to five mil if I'm just tryharding the whole time. But I'm going to do an hour of superheating runite ore and smithing runite bars. Or I'll do like a thousand and see uh, if it ends up being better. And if not, I'm just going to come back here and finish off 50 mil. Alright, that is 1,005 runite bars. We're going to smith them out. It looks like the experience per hour for just superheating is kind of crap. But hopefully smithing it makes up for it a little bit. Alright, so that's all the bars that I superheated. And yeah, this is... Seriously worse than just doing Giants Foundry, so I'm just go back there. Alright, so I'm back from a lunch break, and let's see what kind of experience power we can really push out here if we try. So we've got about, I think it's just 10 mil left to go, yeah. And then we're done with the skill for good, so let's see if we can knock that out in two hours. I have 100k left, I'm not gonna do another sword, I'm just gonna go smith like 20 bars somewhere really quick, and we'll close out 50 smithing. Oh yeah. If, uh, if we're tryharding here, we get like 5 mil an hour, but I think that's just because we're running, uh... I think it's just because we're running Equilibrium that we get that. I think you just get 4 mil if you're tryharding without it. Alright, with this inventory, that should be another skill completely taken care of. Wait for it. There we go. 50 mil smithing done, and we're 40 points shy of 77k, and I have something in mind for how I'm going to get those last 40 points. There is a 1 in 25 chance to roll the drop, the fossil drop table for each fish caught in the net, followed by a 1 in 600 chance to receive a blue bottle if the first roll fails. If both rolls fail, a fish will be received instead. The pre-roll items are not dependent on the player's fishing level. What's in here? Oh, we got a full net now. Good hit, nice. Ooh, I got it! Okay, that was easy. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start getting rid of the clues that have been clogging up our bank, and there's a lot of tasks that are involved with them. So you have to do 600 beginners over the course of leagues to do the, I think it's the Explorer mode called. It's in here somewhere. I can't find it. I, I haven't even done this in the main game, but we have over a thousand clue boxes that we've just been passively gathering from God knows what, and I only have to do 450. So that means I can safely drop at least half of these things if there's steps that just suck. And then everything else is relatively close to a teleport. I haven't decided where I'm putting this thing yet, but we'll work that out when, when we get to it, you know? I might not even use this as all, at all because I'd have to bank it every single time to make it worthwhile. I think it's just going to be used for mediums and upwards, but we'll see. 
And yeah, beginners are just one step, so these are very, very, very quick. Uh, the emote ones I might actually skip, just because I have to fiddle around with the box, and I can just open up in Mulligan and get a faster clue. There's a cowfield north of Lumbridge. Okay, this one we 100% drop, because it takes at least 30 seconds to get there, and there's like an easy step that goes up there as well, and this is my closest teleport, it's still like 30 seconds to get there. So that one becomes a drop. And then you've got stuff like this, where the step is just right here, and you're done instantly. Draenor Village I just don't do, because, again, load time. Uh, same with wear stuff. Especially Charlie the Tramp. I know you can, like, get stuff to, like, stack up, because he doesn't require you to make it anymore, but I'm just not dealing with that. That means I'd have to go and gather, like, a lot of things. And, like, some you can buy and some you can't. But that's still time. I could just open up a new clue and be dumb instantly, you know? And just like that, like, you can open them up and just, like, instantly dig. Like, I could potentially drop a lot of these things. And just go for just, like, one particular step. But I don't have, like, 2,000 plus boxes. I have this this many. I probably get enough, like, if I kept stacking them. But I feel like this is better time efficiency-wise. Alright, so this is one where, like, doing this later was a bit of an advantage as well. I mean, it's not that much later, because you get to Leviathan pretty early in leagues. But uh, nice little tech with this. It's like slightly faster to get to this guy. Now, if I had that damned amulet of the eye, it would have been even fa- Actually, would it be faster? Where does it even teleport you to? Someone answer me, because I, I genuinely don't know where the amulet of the eye teleports you. I just know it does that. This is a step I'm honestly tempted to drop as well, because I don't really have a way of teleporting here. I don't have a way to recharge Dragonstone Jewelry, nor my Globetrotter. This one's like, I think... 15 plus seconds to get to, and that's going to add up over time. Oh my god, I just got the three-peat. I preemptively went for the four-peat. <laughs> that was kind of cool, though. Funny enough, I'm actually thinking about dropping this one, too, since this is about a 12-second walk or something. I'm not actually tying it, I'm just kind of, like, eyeballing out how long it takes. But it feels longer than, like, a lot of other steps. Like, kind of close to, like, getting it to... to to drain our village. Also, I'm an idiot. I said earlier I'm not gonna do these. I am just not smart, okay? <laughs> like, I forget, like, both of them are literally just, like, right here, and you're done in, like, half a second. Yeah. I, I never advertise myself as being a smart person. Also, it might be better for me to just, like, camp this stuff. Hang on. I might... If these all go to different slots, I might camp everything. Yeah, I think that might actually be the move. Like, I could just camp this stuff and then run in. I think that might be a smarter move than to just, like, you know, constantly stash and reset. Oh, not this one again. Okay, so I got the other one, so we're just going to keep the six items that we, uh, that we need for the, like, eerie steps on. And that saves me a little bit of time having to, like, take them out and all. Are you, like, the really cold one? Because hey was up your also. no. Sorry I'm not, my B. All good G. Alright, so I've just about hit around about the one hour mark, and I already have 200 clues. I've also gotten a lot stricter in which ones I take, so the coordinate ones I've just done away with entirely. Uh, we're still keeping the two that I have to fairy ring for, this one and the Champion's Guild. Uh, the three emote steps I keep, but this is like the furthest distance I'll really travel for one. You can kind of get the idea. So like, yeah, that one drops. The one that where I have to teleport to Seniston and go to the mine southeast of Lumbridge is a drop. Not Jvarok is a drop now. Y you know which one I'm talking about, the one by the dig site. We, we just dropped that, it takes way too long. But like, pretty much everything else is fair game, and I think I should get to the amount of caskets I want. Yeah, the one in Alcarid I also dropped now, too. This one's pretty quick, and as it doubles down, is if... You can skip the whole teleport animation if you get this one instead of the Wizard's Guild again. And Cedridor I don't bother with any either, because I feel like it just takes, like, a little bit too long to get there with the ring, you know? But, yeah, even the Draenor Manor ones, I'm not... And anything that involves Draenor, I just don't go to now. Like, the one binding the mushrooms is fine, it's just, I have to, like, narrow it down, especially from here, it takes a little while. And, yeah, it's just faster to just drop it and reroll, it seems. Like, once, if I get down to maybe 50 clues and I need 10 more, I'll start, like, carrying a little bit. But you get the idea. We're just kind of gonna ride with it now, until things start getting scary with these. Alright, coming up on the end here, and the numbers are actually starting to work out. I was gonna start being less strict if I got, like, you know, 100 boxes with me having to do 50 clues left like two to one and i'm gonna end on 420 not just because of the meme but because there is a reroll factor and i only have to do 450 uh beginner clues so 30 like you know rerolls and duplicate castics seems pretty reasonable to hit throughout that
All right, we have eight boxes to spare at 420. Uh, very nice. Uh, I got 220 caskets in 54 minutes that time with the stricter, uh, the stricter requirements to do stuff, so that's pretty decent. So that's beginners, hopefully done, if I get the right amount of rerolls, which I will most likely get it. If not, then, I don't know, I'll pick up a couple when I'm woodcutting or something, or maybe that's enough to do it, but... That's the caskets. Now we move on to the easies and start knocking out these guys. Luckily, I think I don't have to do that many because for some reason, um, yeah, for some reason, a certain Jmod forgot to add, um, forgot to add the spade as a requirement. So I only have to do 57 and I'm thinking I'll get like maybe five easies as level ups. So I have to do 50. So probably 45 is the only amount I'll have to do. So we'll knock those out really quick. And with these ones, I can be really strict since, uh, yeah, I've got like more than three times the amount I need, so I imagine this isn't going to be... T oh yeah, these are one step like beginners. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I did one step. It should be done now. No, these are going to be twos, but... Like, I have more than three times the amount of boxes I'm going to need for the whole league. So, yeah, I could be pretty strict with these as well. There's a couple where it's like, get a ham roll, but I don't have them anymore since I cleaned out my bank. So, those can get skipped, which is nice. Okay, I completely forgot. I was supposed to buy one of these, um... A while ago. And, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I've never bought this item in my life, so I have no idea where to get a fishing cape from. Um, give me a minute, I'm gonna go use Google and find out. Oh, it's literally just right outside the fishing Okay, never mind. Alright, we're gonna take a nice little stroll over there, even though farm is teleport. Like, th this one's faster, but, you know, I I'm, I'm, already, I'm already committed to it. I I've already ran too far. Okay, I got my fishing cape, I have a little emote. Um... Camping this probably would be good, but drip is more important. Dude, this is how you know, like, I don't have it. My shift click is just to drop this thing. I've never owned one of these before. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, let's see. How, where's this teleport me exactly? Just right in front? Oh, it's inside. All right. Yeah, that's useful for, like, this. There's, like, a step over here, and I think there's, like, some down here, too. So that's a good item. I'm supposed to emote here. I have no brain cells. I'm sorry. All right, I didn't look at my uh, in-game timer for when I started doing the easies. I'm guessing it took like maybe 45 minutes to get all the 50 caskets, but that's them done. So uh, I don't think I can get to 400 mediums. I'm probably going to have to go farm some somewhere because I shockingly did not get enough mediums <laughs> while doing skilling. Like all the stuff that comes from uh, like Clue Geodes and Clue Nests, like 90% of the time they're friggin' beginners. So like, this is all we got right now, 168. And I th think we only have like maybe 100 done. Survey says, I have 90 done. That's hardly any. I have to get to 400, so I guess I'll, like, run through all these right now. The sad thing is, like, I can't really get picky with these. I kind of have to do every single medium because, yeah, it's just more worth it because I don't really get that many passively. Like, every other tier, I get so many just passively from, like, bosses, Slayer and stuff. But I don't know. I guess these didn't really show up anywhere on the radar. I don't know. Maybe we'll go kill some guards later or something. All right, so... I've been doing the medium clues for almost an hour now. It took me this long to get the step where I'm putting the crystal of memory. So this is going to be the same for both hard clues and medium clues as well. So it makes sense that we do the mediums into hards or vice versa. But yeah, I'm shocked it took me literally, what, 123 plus steps before I actually rolled one of the two Crandor steps that are out there. But, you know, whatever. All right, so southwest of the island is one of the two steps. The other's up here, and the hard one, I think, is, like, over here, I want to say. I don't know. There's just two steps on Grando for mediums and one for hard. So, yeah, this is where we're just going to leave the crystal for now and make sure we don't lose it. Just slap it right in the bank, and we'll grab it whenever we get the Crandor step again. And that's it. All right, so this step right here is another uh, really nice use of fishing cape. This is why I held off on a lot of clue scrolls until I was max, and... Uh, you know, it's probably why people don't really, like, spam out clue scrolls in the main game until they're maxed, either. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know. So, some of these teleports are just absolutely vile with how good they are with some clue steps. Alright, so we just got a Crandor step, finally, after, like, another almost 40 clues, and... Look at that, what normally takes, like, God knows how long to get here, it takes half a second. Oh, here we go, another one, just a couple clues later, and what... I forgot where I put the dent. Where, where is it? <laughs> you know, it, it, it's going to go in here right now. Alright, so we got another Grand Door step just a couple clues later, and it's already paying off in huge dividends. Amazing.
All right, so just taking a little break from clues. I got invited to a couple of games of Volcanic Mine, and I uh, just noticed I should probably do the six-hour uh, relogs. Might be a little bit of a nerd, but it's fine. Mining, I'm mostly going to take care of at shooting stars while editing or something, but getting to sesh with good people is something you should never turn down. And the experience per hour here is about double that of what I get at a star. All right, it's all the mediums done, and I've got a much larger batch of hard clue scrolls that I can go through, but we'll put these in here for when we decide to open them tomorrow. Oh god, look. The fishing cape. Otherwise, you gotta run for the game teleport, but then the fishing cape, you just don't. Oh, look. Another use for it. I love this cape. It's so good. Oh yeah, this is uh, an immediate drop. I see that. I, I just drop it. I, I have more than enough clothes to facilitate that, so... We will not be doing any of the agility pyramid steps, or... What was the other one that I'm dropping? Uh, Panic in the Heart of the Haunted Woods, because I have to, like fuck around my inventory and I can't be bothered with that. All right, I don't know exactly where this one's placed for hard, because it's going to be like where I was for the medium clues. Okay, so it's in the middle of the aisle. I thought this was just for master when you fight the cabbage wizard, but I guess it's the same over here. I just knew there was at least one at Crandor, so it just works. Okay, hang on. I don't think I've been here in a while. I remember hearing something that... Oh, <gasps> what? When did they fix this? Like, the entry used to be, like, off sync. It used to be off to the side. That was the best... Dude, they're actually just ruining the game. Stop fixing broken things. That's what makes RuneScape RuneScape, you idiots. Who voted on that? Yeah, it's like two hours, 44 caskets. So it's like 22 caskets an hour doing this, and I've got to get to 300, but they, they will duplicate sometimes. I just don't remember the rate. He is so adorable. He's so cute. He's wearing the fuck. Yo, he's wearing the rainbow boots. That's my goat right there. All right. Three hours in, I have 70 of these done, so it's like, I guess, 23 an hour that I can do. Uh, maybe more. Maybe I'm just slow. All right, so that's hour four, and I got 25 clues done on that one. That's insane. Dude, I've gotten this step like three times since I pulled the scrolls out of the bank. It's just... It's just free real estate. It's too good. Oh, that is so convenient. Thank you. Do it again. Yeah, close enough. Oh, another one. Why not? Sure. Okay. All right. That's 200 hards done after... What was, I was at like 95. I got 105 done in like four hours and 15 minutes. So do it that way you will. Now we start working on... Uh, hang on where, where's the stash? Yes. Now it's time for the elites. Ghostly bones. I think my only way to get to one of these reasonably is to go through here. Zaya would make it a lot easier. I could just go kill one there, but I don't have Zaya. I know there's like Slayer Cape, but I need it as a ta- Wait. I can get Ankus as a task, right? I might do that, actually, since like- Actually, no. Uh, I should clear the Black Demon task first and finish out the, uh, the Ballista. I think I'll do that before I start hard getting into clue scrolls like this. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. I have like infinity clues, basically. Or I have infinity, um, uh, like Slayer points. I am not doing- I, No, I do not care. Don't caring, I am not doing that fucking step. That's just not happening. Nope. I'm not going underwater, wasting like eight minutes of my time picking up five rocks. Nope, it, it can go on the ground. I can lose the league for all I care. I'm not doing that step. I refuse. Whee! What the- Yo, the Blood Belts have Santa hats on! Yo! <laughs> what the- Hey, yo! Whose idea was this? That's a good idea. He's so cute! He has a little Santa hat! I don't know who Zuck does, but I don't think the uh, the Nibbler had one. That's so cool! Look at him! He's all festive and shit. There we go. Okay, so I'm getting this, because Elite Step is to kill an Anku, and it's much easier to get over here. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> it's much faster to just go over here than to go through the whole stronghold of security. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just get an Anku task, so I can do it 91 times in here. It saves a little bit of time. There we go. This is the one that I've been holding out on the crystal for. It took like 16 caskets to get it. But this is the actual bad step that uh, that we're going to use the last recall crystal for. A humble minute and 45 seconds. But with the crystal, it becomes zero seconds, kind of. I just have to make sure to not screw it up. Oh, this is the last recall spot. Got like, I don't know, 10 caskets later or something. It's actually seeing some use here. And back we are. I have the 50th casket. It was like a little under three hours to get this many, so it's take a little bit longer to get than hearts, but we are primed and ready. We have 
Where are they? So many caskets to open right here. And the beginners are going to be probably one of the most satisfying. So for that, I'm going to bring out this one easy clue scroll and 420 beginners. And we're going to spam open all of them and get the explore emote from all of them. Let's see how many we're on right now. Because I want to see how many rerolls I get. 153. You guys ready to see me litter the floor with a bunch of shit? I already knew that was you, Wolfie. Because I've seen your fucking character's avatar in this game mode before. Wow, congrats on the task. You totally got it with that chain body. Ready? All right, there we go. I'm at 700 beginner completions when, uh, I, I looks like I got a lot of rerolls there. So I had 420. We're going to do some quick math right now. The 153 plus 420, that should have put me at 573 caskets. But it appears as though I got an extra 122 beginners and 21 easies as extra because of my clue relic. Oh my god, look at this. The ground is so screwed right now. There's so much job. <laughs> and now we drop everything else to the ground. Bye bye. All right, before I use this explore emote that I've unlocked, where is it? All right, here it is. I haven't unlocked this on any account ever before. But I'm going to hop worlds because that is a lot of crap on the ground. They're still here. Why is the shit following me? I need to go somewhere else. Yeah, we're going to a new bank. Quickly, to the scar. <laughs> Alright, new. we're just going to litter the ground everywhere we go. Okay, so we got an extra 21 easies out of that, which is pretty sick. But now it's time to open up the easies. Really quick, I forgot. I have to actually do the emote. Use the explore emote. 200 points. We're going to be getting a lot more in this uh, in the next hour. All right, so I have 71 easies here. I have to withdraw one medium so I can collect it and not like drop stuff on the floor. Now, I do need some stuff from this, so I'm not going to be spam opening as hard like that because there are items I need from this. I don't need the, um, the vestment shit anymore because that's all done, so I can just like piece all this shit and I don't need them for anything specific. So I'm going to stop when I see a scroll book or or scrolls in general. I don't want to math exactly like how many I got to. Oh, that's another thing as well. Hang on, where's the master scroll box? You can actually get those from here. I'm getting hella collection log slots out of this too. It's just I don't really need the items for anything. That is not the one I need. All right, so I'm looking up for Master Scroll Book. Well, those uh, those flared trousers are going on the ground, unfortunately. They just don't have a home. Ooh, another Cape of Skulls. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. We're littering the ground a little bit right now, but it's fine. It's like legal littering. Ooh, that is 40 points. That is all that I needed to open in order to, like, leak points, because you don't, uh, you don't need to get the spade in this game mode, because they forgot to add this task to the task list again, so thank you, Jmods, for forgetting to add the 500 easy clue benchmark task. We appreciate you, because we did not want to do it. A golden apron. Bye-bye. Ooh, monk robe G, I just saw that. Hang on, that's a rare one. I saw that, John. I, I know what that is. I'm not a collection logger, and I know the power of this thing. Okay, so I had 71 caskets with um with easy there, and I started at 93, and we ended on 182, which means out of the 71 caskets, we got an extra 18 easies and one medium and some charged dragonstone jewelry scrolls. Those are so useful, right? Like we've talked about how good they are. I only got one master clues box as well. That's kind of um. Uh, Kind of annoying. I'm gonna keep this uh, um, 
I'm gonna keep this thing. It's a little keepsake. A little gift to me. It's not gilded, by the way. It's gold trimmed. Gold trimmed does not equal gilded. Alright, now for the mediums. Let's see what we end up on here. Uh, not a new one. That's the one I'm missing. Okay, now I can kind of skim through them until I see a book. Oh, more ranger boots. Why not? They're going to despawn. I'm like glazing over these for when I see um, a teleport book. I got a master scroll box there. So we got one wizard boots. They're despawning. I had to periodically move to different tiles because eventually I filled them up with garbage. Another master scroll box. Oh, crap. More manacles. Ooh, a nice little 40 points for doing 150 medium clues. It's like a little uh, a little treat that the game gives me, you know? It's a teeny tiny treat. A little morsel, if you will. More monocles. I saw two of them in the same cloak there. I don't know which kind it was, though. Where is this friggin' scroll book? Holy sandals I saw in there. Manacles. Another scroll box. Okay. Okay. Wizzy boots. Climbing boots G. Two ranger boots in that clue I saw. Okay. Very nice. And uh, they're going to despawn because I don't need them. <laughs> ah, wizzy boots. Double Rangers, it's Leagues. I was gonna say, I think you're talking to... Why is Beat on it making an alt? Like, what is he doing? He has front page to worry about. The book? Book on the floor? Where? Dude, fucking Beat on it distracted me. Okay, here we go. Thank Christ. Alright. Dude, fucking Beat on it. His main is standing next to him. Ah, he's boosting himself. I see. I see. Alright, well, that means now we can just, like, open the fuck out of them. Let's go. I no longer care about anything that is in these. Everything else I need will uh, stack up. Oh, look, more ranger boots. Another set of ranger boots. Wizard boots. Holy Sandals, Climbing Boots G, another Mask Scroll Box, Manacles, and I'm spent. So I've got to do another 108 mediums, but I will worry about that another time. I'm still going to get some more passively. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take a look at the haul. Let, let, let's see what we brought in, you know? We're 60 collection logs lots away from that Master Task. Let, let, let's see what we... We finished the medium clue log, I guess. <laughs> 10 Ranger Boots. <laughs> All right, I gotta find a new bank to rag. But now, here's where things start to matter, okay? Here's where things actually... Yeah, it's, it's time for the big boy caskets here. All right, so we're starting at... 66 hard clues and 205 caskets. And now it's time we check out how many gilded pieces we're getting today. We have a little bit of bets going on. And I have the elites too, and there are some masters that will probably come out of it and will re-roll themselves. So let, let's see how many gilded pieces we get today. Oh, 75 hard clue scrolls for 80 points. Piss points. I see some noted potions uh in there. <laughs> that's uh that's not a that's not a that's not a welcome sight for sore eyes. Oh, 
Oh, more noted potions. Super energies this time. Wonderful. I love that. That is so cool. Oh, I got more noted potions and 150 hard clue scrolls to go with it. I, I loved it. <laughs> God, I love this equipful gilded task and now I have just zero pieces for fun. Okay, there we go. We got one out of four. That's one piece of gilded so far. We'll put it up here with the other gilded. Unfortunately, these two don't do anything. It's just uh, this one that does something. Okay. Uh, oh wait, there's another one that duplicated. Okay, anyway, um, let, let's tally up how many I opened up there to only get um, one piece of gilded and three sets of potions. Let, let, let's do some mathematics, shall we? Alright, so we started at 66, we had 205, and we ended on 317, which means we got an extra 46 hard caskets and six elites. So we'll do the math on that like on screen later. When that becomes relevant. All right. Well, we, we have one out of the three pieces. So you know what? Progress. Making moves. You know, we're getting somewhere. Okay? Okay, so we have 13 elites done. See where we get with this. Okay, there's a magic seat. Ooh, hello, my little baby. That is two out of three or two out of four. I don't know what, how they calculate this, but that is a gilded does piece nothing. that does in fact count Laughing for the task. I don't need Coif does nothing. Oh. Never mind. 25 elite clue scrolls for 80 points. I don't think this does anything either. However, that's three pieces of gilded so far. Let's put that in there. Built 25 elite clue collection log slots for 200 points. We're getting some consolation prizes at least. I think that's rare and I think that's rare too, but I don't know how this table works. Boot! Light bow tie! Dark trousers! I'm hitting so many rare things right now. It's insane. I will wear boot today. Oh, that remind. I know that one's good. I know that one is good. I know that one works. So that's my fourth piece of gilded on this uh, on this clue opening. The elites are actually printing where the where the hard clue scrolls fail. The elite one succeeded. Okay. Oh yeah, really quick before I forget. Um, where is it? I'll collect my two hundred points after the stall is finished because this actually stalls you here. After the emote's done, it'll give me the points though. Two hundred points for that. Ooh, a Master Casket came out of that. There we go. Oh, wait. I Oh, no, I missed the pop-up for it. I got the Master Task done for 750 slots. I don't have to clog anymore. Man, I, I missed it. That was, like, one of my last 400-point tasks left. That's, like, the second to last one. Oh, man, man, man. Oh, well. And that's the 70... <laughs> that's five gilded pieces. I don't finish the task, though. But at least the task is, like, completable, kind of. Okay, let's put it with the others. And then the last two. Oh, yeah, I got I got points for opening up 75 elite clue scrolls. And there's a ranger's tunic in there. All right, so from this one, it was... I should have had 69 KC, so I ended up getting eight elite caskets and two master caskets from those 56. We'll do math on, like, what your reroll weight is after. All right, not too bad. And then I have two Master Caskets to open, which could have a billion dollars in it. Bait. Bait as fuck. Ooh! This is my source of Limpwort Roots. I forgot about this. <laughs> All right. Let's see if, like, any mixed match of this shit will get it for me. It probably won't. But, you know... You can't, like, you can't fault me for trying. No. It just won't. One more master? I have one more? Oh. Oh, my bad. Oh. 
You know what? I think it's time for an upgrade in jewelry, if I do say so myself. Okay, well, that was a that was a clue opening, if I've ever seen it. I think I might be done with forestry. From what I remember, it's 14k infused bark, so I think I'm finally done with this crap for good. Alright, so if I'm reading this right, it is one log brace, one log basket, and then you turn the log brace into something else like this. Probably remove this. <laughs> and when I wear this, 40 points. All that time for this. And I believe I can sell this back. Okay, and the last thing I get is the felling axe handle. And I don't know how to make this or what it says. You need to be near an anvil. Oh, okay. My bad, dude. <laughs> Alright, and that is 80 points. And I never have to touch this forestry crap ever again. Please get out of my inventory. <laughs> I never want to see forestry ever again, man. Alright, we have every elite casket. We are currently at... I am an idiot when it comes to typing, apparently. I have 77 done, and there's 105 here. I need to get to 200, so I need to get 18 rerolls, and I'm pretty sure I get that from this many. If not, I'll do a couple more. But... Uh, yeah, we're doing that, and then we're running right into the Masters after that. We've c gathered quite a few of them, which is nice. So I have two out of three. If I get the Plate Body or the Dehyde Body, then I win. Apparently the Vams will count for something too, but we'll see. Not looking good on the Gilded front right now. I'm just going to say it's not looking good for the Gilded. F As I say that, I get Duplicate Gilded. That doesn't finish anything for me. Uh, just, just want to check. You get 15 noted potions from a single roll. You get 30 from at least 30. Okay, I thought I got double noted potions for a second. <laughs> I was about to, I was about to scream bloody murder. You know, it would not have been a good day in the cold one live stream. We'll just say that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I like this item. He has no idea I'm here. He has no clue that it's actually just me. I like seeing these in there. I like seeing these tossed in there very much. Afro! One of my favorite items from it. I think that did it. Wait, I think that did it. I think that did it. That might... That might finish it. I'm like mixing this around with like a like a mad scientist experiment right now. Um What am I missing from this? Gilded Vams? Do you need Vams for it too? Alright, well I got a new piece and I know it's like valid for something, so we'll keep going. Ooh. 80 points for 150 elite clue scrolls. I just need nine more rerolls from uh from these things. And maybe I get them, maybe I don't. Nah, not another one. Okay, that's got to do it. That has to finish it. There's no way that this isn't enough to finish the damn task now. It has to work. What do you mean it's not enough? What is this? What is this clue that I'm looking at? What exactly is this clue that's in my, that's in my game? What is this? <laughs> uh, anyway. All right, the last elite. Nothing. All right, so what was the extras I got? I got two masters out of that as well, which is kind of nice. Gotta take down what I got here. So I should have ended on 182. I ended on 194. So I ended up getting 12 elite caskets and two master caskets out of that. So 14 extra treasure chests. And inside the masters, there are the Dragon Weapon Emporium and Limport Roots that I desperately needed. And 25 unique items from Master Clues for 200 of points. Woo! All right, unlucky. We somehow, like, all of this doesn't complete the Gilded task, because it has to be, like... I got, f like, four valid pieces, I think. Gilded Vamped and or a Plate Body. 
Yeah, it has to be one of those two. Unfortunately, the shield does not do jack shit. So that means we did not finish it on those. All right, the last six is one master. I have to deposit like all at the same time because I don't. Oh, I haven't got a free casket too. Okay, what's well, confusing? That is an elite clue of the main game. This needs to not be in my envy. Ah, uh, there's the bonus one. Oh. 200 elite clue scrolls. I've obtained the heavy casket. So the funny thing about this one is when I equip this, I get 200 points. And then I have one last elite casket. Which gives me a whole lot of bupkis. Alright, next on the list is the master boxes. Okay, so there is a master casket in here, but I kept it intentionally because I want to have a placeholder for that. I have 71 boxes to go through. Oh boy. And we get to leave our last recall here now. So, since we're switching to masters, we have to change our last recall location, and this is uh, the spot I'm going to do at the Shadow Dungeon. I think it's the only one that really makes sense to leave it. Alright, so this is the spot right here. And I think I will just leave the crystal here, since it takes like, I don't know, two and a half... I didn't time it, but it feels like so long to get there. And I think if you equip the whip here, it counts. Yep. I am nowhere near the Abyssal Demons, but that's close enough for Jagex. Thumbs up for me, dog. I think Jagex forgot his step. I think they left something out, because I physically can't do this. Um... Hey, let, me, let me finish this up really quick, then we'll, we'll just go over why this is not something that I can do. Yeah, so uh, let, let's talk about this. The last update of the year has happened, as Wolfie put it down to me, so the game's not going to be updated until January 2024. Um, I have a Master Clue step that I physically can't do, because I can't wear a Dragon Square Shield with my regions, so... Uh, yeah, as great... And awesome, and I'm smiling about it. I'm not bad or bitter at all. I don't think this could be noted, but I'm going to find out because I've never done this before. <laughs> I've legit never done this in my entire life. They can be noted. Oh, go on. Oh, they can be noted. Okay, I think I will buy a hundred. Yeah, that'll work. No, how often am I going to get this shit? Like, okay, we're going to start a counter. This is the second master we've lost. Oh, look, number three. You're sure? Hey, listen, I get to show it again. You might have missed it because you were busy typing that message. So just in case you... I have to go grats him. Whee! Uh, it doesn't take me right to the... Where the hell is this? Um, that's normal, right? Like, that's where it's supposed to take me. <laughs> Alright, it's close enough. It's, wait, it's random? Alright, you know, it's better than going from Lumbridge, I guess. Uh... <laughs> Look what we got. Minus four. Minus five. Yep, number, I think that's number six. Uh, minus seven. If I had to go triple... Oh, minus eight. Here we go. Another one down. Can't do it. Dragon square shield. Yada, yada, yada. Minus eight. That was like the... Okay, that right there was the smartest teleport I've ever done in my entire life. Oh, wait. I forgot what number we're on. This is either minus eight or minus nine. Minus ten! I, I just got one, like, three minutes ago. Minus eleven. All right, we'll do the relog now. Six hours of working on Master Clue. Bye. Well, that was convenient. <laughs> okay. That's the entire stack aside from the placeholder done. Holy moly. Yeah, there, there's the one placeholder. We're just going to make it because I like having that. I'm very, very, uh, very OCD about this kind of thing. All right. Pull these out. We get to open them all up, and there's no chance of Mimic, because no Zaya. Okay. If I re-roll twice, then I get the 75 KC task. If I re-roll 27 times, that's a dream. But that's probably not happening.
Oh, there's... Oh, come on, man. I have that already. Ooh. Okay, there we go. A little consolation prize. 25 collection log slots. I got 200 points. And I already have that piece of gilded. So, yeah, the, the dupes are stacking up now. Real, real nice. 25 Master Clue Scrolls for 80 points. Another consolation prize. Huge. Huge for the account. What? That doesn't count for anything, does it? It's it's worthless. I'm pretty sure. Mummy hands. That's new. Ooh, that's new as well. I will wear it. I don't like this kit, but I will wear it. Seventy-five Master Clue Scrolls, two hundred points, more consolation prizes. All right, three left. Three left. Come on, just show me gilded plate body, gilded bams. Be a pal. Come on, be a pal. Be a pal. Ah. Yeah, that's all the gilded shit. Missing the vams, missing the plate body. Those two finished gilded task. And that put me out a hefty 79,480 points. I think I'm going to go brain dead do some metal dragons. But, you know, I'll relog on that and see if that gets me anywhere. You know, nothing too valuable in the past six hours. Then I pass him. But that we know that's a lie. He's done something. A cold one is higher ranked than Ditter Bitter on the League Points High Scores. Let's fucking go. The delirium can end, and I can go veg out and do some other stuff. I'll crack 80k eventually. That leaves us with just a few clues, a few skills to 50 mil, a lot of raids, and a few RNG items that you'll see in the next episode, if and only if you drop a like and a subscribe. Until then, I'll see you next time. Once again, a massive thank you to Hero Wars for sponsoring today's video. You can find my link down in the description to start playing now.